It now seems likely that over the next couple of decades, science will defeat the ageing process. We will still grow old in chronological terms, but our bodies will age much more slowly than they do today. I'm not talking about life extension or extreme longevity here. We will still die after nine or ten decades of life, but the physical ageing process will be delayed and will only occur at the very end of life. This is the promise of a new discipline known as Senolytic Science. As the name suggests, Senolytic Science involves the analysis of the process of senescence, how and why the cells in our body age and what happens to them after they've stopped functioning. Central to the science is the discovery that when our cells become senescent, they don't simply disappear, but they hang around in our bodies as zombie cells. In our later decades, these zombie cells accumulate and cause inflammation. This leads to muscle loss, osteoarthritis, macular degeneration, cancers, dementia and all the usual ailments of old age. Senolytics targets these senescent cells and new treatments to remove them are already showing signs of working. Mice have been treated into old age and those whose senolytic cells have been removed by new drugs and gene therapy stay young and alert right up to the point at which they die. Limited tests in human have already proved encouraging and investment is now pouring in to several biotech companies spun out of the Mayo Clinic and MIT. Jeff Bezos and Peter Thiel are lead investors in this sector. And in a separate development, researchers at the University of Los Angeles have just announced that they've been able to turn back the biological clock in humans. In a small clinical trial, it was found that participants had their biological clocks turned back by an average of two and a half years during a single year of treatment. This has very significant implications for extending human lifespans. These new anti-aging treatments are expected to be generally available in about 10 years time. That will be a little late for me, but the positive implications for overstretched health services, for insurers and for the personal happiness of future generations will be enormous. Oh.